You're on the cover of Vogue here, looking fabulous. Thank as, you. As always. Oh my goodness. Uh, Crazy. So, so I understand. Well, first of all, I know that they only wanted you and nobody else for the cover of Vogue. Okay. No. For, for the, for the, for, yes, and there yes. no more Vogues are coming out. It's That's just it. that. It's um, over, guys. For the movie. I know that's what Rob Marshall told me. He he called me, and I've been friends with him for a while, but he, I knew there was sort of a different energy behind this phone call. I mean, it was so charged, and he was so excited to tell me this news. I thought, honestly, for a second, I was like, he's going to ask me to marry him. <laughs> this, this is where I get married, to Rob Marshall. Like, it was building towards that. And he was like, and Em, you know, we've been looking for something to do, and it's, um, we're going to do Mary Poppins. And I was like... And I just felt my hair sort of like blow back, you know. I was completely shocked and slightly terrified. Oh, you, know? you didn't know anything about it before the phone call? Nothing you about it. You didn't know it. someone was making Mary Poppins? You... No, no, wow. nothing. It was just completely new to me. It was so such a ceremonious phone call. And then you realize why. I mean, this is such an iconic character, and you realize how much she's made such an imprint on people, yeah. and the first movie is so beloved. So I was slightly terrified. In fact, one of my dear friends, when I said, I think I'm going to be Mary Poppins. She goes, ooh, you got balls of steel. And I was like, don't say that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, terrifying. Well, because it's a, it, they are big shoes to fill. Yeah. So tell us about the movie. It's not a remake. It's, it's like a sequel, right? It is. It's sort of And by the set... way, the audience saw it and loves it. Guys, you <laughs> You're like the only people who have seen it, so this is very cool. It, it is a sequel. It is set 30 years after the original. Um, Michael and Jane Banks from the first movie when they were children are now grown up, and they have children of their own. And it's uh, set during the Great Depression, so it's a bit of a darker backdrop. You need hope to reappear from the skies. And miraculously, Julie Andrews has turned into me. <laughs> but, like, that's about... And then the, we have an amazing... Dick Van Dyke comes back for a cameo. Wasn't that the best? So he comes in. It's just so sweet. Had you met him before? I had not met him before, but he is so sprightly and sharp and cool still. And he'd share all these stories. And then I was sitting next to him, and he, he's always sort of tapping his feet and sort of moving. And um, there was a kind of lull in the conversation. And then he just leant over and he goes, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. And I went, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, that's it. I could just die now. That's it. That's all I need. That's so sweet. So sweet. That's amazing. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,